going on everybody this is lemon drop 14e here gonna give you a little bit of a tutorial on some easy flames you can do on your car as you see here I've got a 2010 Camaro I've been putting down some flames and I'm gonna show you a pretty easy way to get some flames now we're gonna be focusing focusing on the uh, left column here when we do this I'm gonna start with this one here and uh um, I think we'll go with a black so I can get some easy contrast I can see better when I'm laying these down and I know a lot of people don't like to use the stencils they like to freehand their own out with the uh, various shapes but um I just I think these look better not sure why I just do and I'm gonna show you a few tricks here to uh, make them look not so cookie cutter so what we're gonna do we're gonna start with this one we're gonna size it down a little bit We'll just go to 50 and make it easy. Um, you can skew it a little bit if you'd like, but it just depends on the car for me. So I'm going to skew it a little bit here. I'm going to move it over. We're going to start way up high. I'm going to start it. Oh, we're going to shoot for about there. And right now you're probably thinking, hey, um, you're hanging over onto the hood, but that's okay. We want to do that for now. And we're gonna hit the Y button and stamp this down. What we're gonna do, see where that last lick kind of makes a bend? It's gonna match up pretty close with the start of this next flame. Except that's a little bit big, so I'm gonna size this down and lay that down there. And what I'm gonna do, we're gonna walk these flames down the side. Except I'm gonna flip this. All I'm doing here is putting the size on the Y. Uh, axis and dropping it down to the negatives get a mirrored look effect so it's not quite as copied looking I'm actually going to size this make it a little bit longer we're going to match that up as best we can stamp it and we're going to take this one and want to make sure that it goes all the way onto the bottom and it does and we've got some flames hanging off the edge there which is pet peeve of mine I don't really like to leave them that way I'm going to shrink those up, bring it a little bit closer, and there's that. And that is going to be our outline for the flames. Now what we're going to do, we're going to highlight this first flame. I'm going to click the left stick down and X button to copy it. I'm going to hit the bumper over to the top of the hood. I'm going to paste it down. What you're going to do, I'm going to walk it over here, and we're going to line this up so that the flames have a seamless look when they uh, transfer over to the hood I believe somewhere in this neighborhood now it obviously it's not lining up perfectly but that's okay we're gonna make it look correct because all that matters is the spot where the top of the car switches to the side as long as you get that uh, flame to look right have that correct curve shape to it it'll be okay you're gonna stamp it down to where it looks alright and the same thing as we did on the left side, we're going to walk the flames around. Except, again, we're going to want to shrink these up a little bit. Going to line them up best we can. Stamp that one there. Going to alternate a little bit. And again, all I'm doing is just stamping, moving the shapes around a little bit. I'm going to stamp it there. I like to go in a V shape, if you will. As in, we're going to start kind of high on the right side, go a little bit lower into the middle, and once we get to the middle, we're going to raise up and go to the left. So we're going to keep stamping that there. I might spin that around, make a little bit longer. Hit that one there. And again, all I'm doing is just kind of messing the shape up a little bit so they're not identical all the time. might widen those, make a little bit longer. You gotta stamp it there. Alright, there. Oop. Lay that one down there. And see, we're gonna. I was almost stamped that there, and we had some hanging off the top of the hood. So, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna shrink this up a little bit. Whoops. Shrink it up. And see if we can't get it to lay down right there. Which, that looks pretty good. And we're going to leave um, to the left of these flames. You can see there's a gap there where I've left it open to the left side because when we uh, stamp the uh, 
left side flames over to the right side we're going to see they're not going to line up the same on both sides so we're going to see what uh, that looks like before we lay those down now we're going to go back to the left side and what we're going to do is uh, go to a new layer vinyl shape and you're going to come up here to this uh, single lick and you're going to select that one what we're going to do we're going to shrink it up and size it and we're going to get it to uh, sit right on top of some of these licks here give the flames a little bit of a different look like this one you can lay it down there and readjust a little bit and sometimes you have to spin them around and stuff like that and that looks better stamp that one there and you definitely want to skew these around whichever direction you need to to get them to fit the contour of the flames before them that one's going to line up pretty well what I'd like to do is spin them back around and skew them. See, we're in the negatives, and the next one I like to go to the positives to give it a little bit of a different look. And again, this is all about mixing up your flames so they don't look cookie cutter. And obviously, you're not going to be able to escape that to the full effect because they are the stencils that Forza gives you. This is just a way to make them look a little bit not so stock. I'm going to keep. Spinning this around. Gonna drop one about there. And as you can see, that tip just barely hangs off, so we're not going to worry about that one. I'll drop that one there. Come back. I'm going to spin this around. Get that one to line up. As you can see, we've got a single lick that kind of pokes through the middle there. We're not really going to worry about that. As long as they're pretty close, it's going to look okay. And you're going to take any of these. doesn't really matter. Just copy it to the top. You're going to do the same thing up here. Just add some of these little licks to the tips of your flames. All right now we're going to spin this one around. Get it to line up correctly. And again, all we're doing is just randomly putting these through here to make them look not so stencil. And I mean, if you're one of those people that like to um, put your designs on your storefront and try and sell them, this is pretty good for that. It doesn't really take that long, and it works on just about any car you could think to put flames on. And it's one of those deals where people kind of take a second glance because they think, well, wait a minute, that's different looking because a lot of people just use the stencil flames so um, kind of gives you a little edge on everyone else I guess if you will just gonna spin this one around uh, this one's not wanting to cooperate real well I'll stick him over here well okay see I got ahead of myself you can see where the tail of that one hangs down below the flames. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to stamp it and we're going to move it up a little bit. Well, that one's just not going to want to work anywhere. We'll skew this back to the positive side, see if we can get it to work. That looks a lot better. Maybe we can squeeze it in over here. Mm -hmm. That actually looks pretty good. We'll stick that there. So there's one in the middle here that kind of needs something added. And see, if you add the tips of them to like the very tip of the lick, to the very tip of your flames, if you just barely overlap, it doesn't look that natural, doesn't have that good flow look to it. So you're going to try and avoid that as best you can. The best way to do that, to me, is find the shape of the flame like this one kind of curves out. Try and get the outside of your flame to match that curve. And then just stamp it on top, and it looks pretty good. I'm going to spin this one around. That looks pretty good. And we'll lay that one down there. And we'll call it quits on the little licks on the top there. Now we're going to go to the right side. And we're going to actually, yeah, we're, we'll go ahead and do that. Insert all from left to right. And that way we can see how that one's going to line up. So we're going to go back to the hood now. 
And I guess what we can do, we'll just take this last one, copy it, and you can paste it on top of the licks or below. It really doesn't matter, whatever you'd like to do. And we're going to take this down here. We're going to get it so it lines up. And right there, it's pretty close. So we'll leave that there. And all you got to do now is just find a way to get these to go together. And see, those aren't quite connected. So what you'll do, you'll go to your new layer and then look for a flame in here that's not a big, uh, not a real big flame, but just enough to get those two connected. And I think we might just stay with these little licks. See if I can get one of these to work in there. I'm gonna size this down again. See if we can't fit it in there. And honestly, that doesn't look too bad. In the grand scheme of things, you're not going to be able to point that out and say, hey, that doesn't look correct. So we're going to stick that there. Now your next step is going to be uh, grouping all these together. Exclude. Well, you see I have the background laid down there. So we're going to group all the flames together. What we're going to do is fill in the left side of the flames. And I just you can go to your squares or circles, whatever you want to use. I typically use a square just because I think it's easier. We'll go over here and block out. And what you really want to pay attention to when you're doing this is when you get close to the edges here. You want to make sure you don't go outside the lines and you get a straight line like that. It's kind of, it's easy to do. So just be mindful of where you're putting these at. And you're just going to fill in the rest. And when you get situations like this, you've got one lick that's under the rest of them. Just go ahead and cover that up. Some people like to try and save them and do a different look to it, and it just it usually ends up looking worse. And then you just box that little little last part out there. Oh, and as you can see, we missed a little bit there. So what you'll do, just go get a triangle, shrink it up a little bit, and stick it right over there. So there you go. You have perfectly filled in flames. We're going to do the same thing to the hood now. And just box out the negative space. Not sure what color we're going to end up with here on these flames, but we'll find out. And again, you just, for whatever reason, for me, it seems like whenever I go to box out on the hood is when I make most of my mistakes. I'm not sure what that's about, but just again, just be mindful of where you're putting these at. Gonna fill these in right quick. Hopefully, I'm gonna get some more videos out to you guys about how to do some easy paint. I'm gonna cover uh, lightning, true fire, and stuff like that. Or you guys might refer to it as live fire. Sort of a ghost look. Once we get done with this one, let's see. Right now, when I'm doing this, the background keeps flashing. I'm not sure why it does that sometimes. But all you do to take care of it is run your cursor over it a couple of times. Then go back to what you're doing. And it makes it quit flashing so bad. I'm going to drop that there. Oh, see, I did make a mistake. I laid that one over. That's way too high up. Actually, I made two of them. That one, too. Drop that down. See, when you've got little areas like this, you don't want to work with a big wide box. <laughs> Gonna drop it down. Get that all filled in. We've got these random spots here that the boxes wouldn't quite cover. And honestly, I'm I could make these a little bit bigger and get a triangle or something to try and take up more space with less layers, but with this method you really don't have to worry about layers. Now once we get into like the ghost flames or overlapping them and stuff like that, you might want to be mindful about them, but for these, you don't really have to. So we got that one covered. Okay, now we go to the front bumper and obviously just change that color to black, which won't be our final color, but I'm going to go to the right side, just delete everything. 
and insert all from right to left and there's your flames that are already filled in for you and you're going to want to group up all your fill in boxes and group those up and then what we're going to do we're going to take these flames and click down the left stick and the x button and copy them and paste them down on top of it so now layers 2 through 10 and 9 or 11 through 19 are the same but we're going to do with 2 through 10 you hit the a button change position as you can see we got some odd numbers down there like 0.19 and 0.5 is actually going to work out pretty good for us but going to hit the d-pad up one time hit the y button to the right once uh, hit the y button right again hit the y button and hit down once and hit the stamp which is the y button down again the y button left y left y up and the a button now you see we have all these different copies down here and basically the top layer which is 74 through 82 now is going to be what your color is and we're going to group up the rest of these and they're going to become our pinstripe and now these two you can group up because these are the flames and the fill in color and I'm going to do the same thing up here at the top you're going to group up your boxes group them and copy and paste these you know, up y right y right y down y down y left y left y and up a and basically what all that is doing is you're taking this top layer and mimicking it and you're just moving it off center a little bit in every direction try and give it the complete surrounded effect when we change the colors here and on this right side don't even mess with it just delete it all insert from left to right and you've already got it there now for our flame uh, color, we'll make it something different. We'll go with a go with a bright green. And as you can see, where that black is, everything's slightly off centered. That's now our pinstripe. And the same thing we're gonna do up here. Group up your blocks and your flames. Change your color over to green. Same thing over here. Change color. Go to previous and hit green. Obviously, this isn't a real pretty car, but it's just uh, the white background and the black pinstripe and the bright color flame just makes it easier to see on YouTube the contrast and see what you're going for there. And that is basically it. Now, you could, if you wanted to, you could take these and layer them out. And what I mean by that is you would copy these, put them under themselves, pull them down here, and kind of stretch them out a little bit and get a different layered effect. But that's basically it. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll try and get you some new videos. Thanks, bye.